Welcome to episode 3 of the Thomas and Friends Reviews. In this episode, I'll be reviewing... The take and play versions of Bash, Dash and Ferdinand. Bash, Dash and Ferdinand, who are also known as the Logging Locos, were introduced in the 2010 Thomas special, Misty Island Rescue. The film was also made to celebrate the 65th anniversary of Thomas and Friends. The Logging Locos are well known as a mischievous group of engines who were sent to Misty Island after being too naughty on the mainland. But when Thomas arrived on Misty Island by accident and discovers that Misty Island has Joby Logs, Bash, Dash and Ferdinand agree to help Thomas transport the logs back to Sodor where they now help the Fat Controller on his railway from now on again. Back in 2010, when the film was released, Take and Play made their own versions of the Logging Locos, which is what I'm reviewing today. These models are some of the best that have been made in the Take and Play range. The proportions are just so accurate to their TV counterparts. From their cabs, to their lamps, to their domes, and to their funnels. It honestly feels like I am holding the actual engine straight from the show. In fact, I feel that Take and Play have always made all of their toys look similar to the actual engines from the TV series. Also, the Logging Locos' colours have been chosen correctly too, but it also adds another level of life to these toys. I think my favourite toy engine out of these three has to be Dash as the colours on him are striking and is bursting with character for a toy model. There is something about his bright orange boiler that is another reason why he is my favourite take and play engine from this group. A fun little fact is that these engines are actually sold separately and I also got them separately over the years. Ferdinand was my first logging loco, then Bash and then Dash. If there is only one slight criticism that I have, is that whenever I move Ferdinand, his wheels always seem to squeak whenever he rolls along. I feel that that is a downside, as not many people are going to want to hear a squeaky toy engine. Or even me for that matter. But I'm still grateful that I've got him in my collection. Overall, if you love Bash, Dash and Fernand, then I highly recommend getting them in Take and Play. Even though they are hard to find now, they're still great additions to your collection. So that's it for today's episode. I hope you all enjoyed it. And look out for episode 4, where I'll be reviewing the Trapmaster Nia. See you all in episode 4. Bye! This is Gromit and Thomas Fano 1, signing off. <laughs>